three months, television stations across the U.S. will go all digital. That means less than 90 days remain for people without cable to buy a converter box. But with all the boxes available, that task can seem overwhelming. We wanted to make it a little easier. So in this 10 News Extra, reporter Allison Morrow gives one family little help making that choice. The I know, that's what I'm like. <laughs> Mother of two and 10 News producer Carolyn Lamar is a busy woman. And one item on her long to do list buy a digital TV converter, which turned out to be a little more complicated than she thought. Well, I went to Target actually yesterday, and there were just, there's like four different kinds, and they're kind of priced basically the same within five or ten dollars. And so I was kind of like, why are there so many different ones? To clear up the confusion, we asked our tech expert Dan Thompson to break down DTV converters. Hello, how are you? Hey, I'm Dan. I'm we chose four brands to test, GE, Apex, RCA, and Insignia. All were readily available in local stores and priced within $10 of each other. One by one, we connected each of them to the same TV set and the same antenna. First up. All right, so what we have here is Insignia's DTV converter box. Right out of the package, the picture was good, but the box showed big black lines on the left and right sides framing the screen. You can go into the menus and change that, but you'd have to set each channel and sometimes each program the way you want it. Uh, or you also have the RCA output. Next up, uh, RCA. And one thing that we noticed right off the bat uh, is it actually offers us a channel list, whereas some of the other ones uh, may not have done so. Uh, so what this is more typical like is if you have cable TV or dish, uh, where you have a means to show you know, what channel it is, what show is on. RCA's box also adjusted the picture shape on its own, which meant fewer black bars. And Carolyn noticed the reception was better too. It cut the letterbox out and it's just much more clear and we, I mean the antenna's in the same place it was for the other one when it kept glitching out. And while the third time's usually the charm, our third try was GE's box. This one's taking a lot longer to locate all the channels. It is actually and notice it looks like it's going to find one, yeah it did, it found one less channel than the other one did. The other one you were getting 11 channels, this one we're only getting 10 channels. In fact, GE's box was the okay, only so of the four we tested that came up one channel short. But the critics had no complaint with picture quality. I think the picture quality is just as good as it was on um, the RCA. Now to our fourth and final box. All right, so the last one that we have left is by Apex, uh, and this actually promises to be a, a really good quality box. No problems with clarity. Knee-jerk reaction to the video, though. The video looks uh, just as, as comparable to the other ones. But it also showed the sidebars, and we couldn't find a way to adjust that. Information Carolyn was glad to know. You know I would have been annoyed by the letterbox, chopping it off on the sides, both on the sides and the top. So of all four choices, she went with the RCA. And with that, Dan said his goodbyes. All right, so I think we got you all fixed up. Fantastic, thank you. I think we're ready for February. All right. And Carolyn said hello to her new DTV box. Allison Morrow, 10 News. <laughs> While Carolyn says she's gotten fuzzy signals on some channels at her home in the past, the picture was much better with all of the digital boxes. The government will send you a coupon that will cover most of the cost for a digital box. You can find out more information at WBIR.com. Some enthusiastic.